Hey, Craig? Yeah. Hey, just making sure while you were waiting to do the second part of today's second date, you didn't drink any champagne, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I thought okay. about it. Yeah, you might You might want a bottle or two before we get started. It uh. seemed to help you last time. If you're just joining us, <laughs> Craig is on the phone, and he wants to call a girl named Maya. They met online and ended up going out to dinner for a date, but he got a little nervous, arrived at the restaurant early, and ended up drinking a half a bottle of champagne before she even got there. And then she showed up and he found out she doesn't drink champagne, so he drank the rest of the bottle and probably some more <laughs> liquor then too. And he doesn't remember most of the night. He does remember that she left in an Uber after he peed on the wall outside oh and that she's not returning any of his phone calls. I know. I would just say when you tell her how nervous you were, just make sure you throw in a lot of compliments because this is going to be a hard one to come back from. Oh, okay. I'll try. All right. And if you need a drink to help you do it, go ahead and grab one. No. Be a minute. No. Stay All sober. Right. I'm dialing her phone number right now. Here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hi, can I speak to Maya, please? This is she? Hey, Maya, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. You said you're who again? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. It's a radio show. <laughs> okay. H hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello? We got an email about you from one of our listeners. Oh. Okay. Um, what did they say? Well, they said that you're pretty cool. Okay. That was it. That's it. That's all they said. <laughs> and so I just want to tell you you're cool, Maya, and then uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a good Bye. day, okay? <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maya, we do a segment on our show called The Second Day. That's where if you go out on a date with somebody and then don't call them back after, they can email us to get you on the phone and find out what went wrong. And recently we got an email about you from a dude named Craig. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, okay. you remember Craig. Yeah. And so Craig told us about your date. Did he? Yeah, he said that you left and didn't seem like you wanted to see him again. And he also <laughs> tried to reach out to you, and you haven't gotten back to him. So he's pretty sure he screwed it up. Yeah. <laughs> and would like a second chance. Well, definitely right about screwing up. I mean, oh. that date was a freaking show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? he told us how he got drunk. Like He, he said he was nervous. And drank pretty much a whole bottle of champagne before you even showed up and then just got drunker and drunker as the night went on. Yeah. Have you ever hung out with somebody who had a bottle of champagne in like an hour? I have. <laughs> They're usually not very fun unless you're on the same level. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty horrifying, I have to say. Honestly, no. I'm impressed that you even stuck around. Like at that point, I would have felt like you're wasting my time. I'm leaving. Well, his thing was, like, he was so nice and cute, and we even talked on the phone before we met. He just sounded like a like a sweet, down-to-earth guy. And right. so I was pretty shocked, actually, when I showed up, and he was, like, lit already. <laughs> I'm like, what? Did you, like, go out with somebody before I got here? But then I realized he had a bottle of champagne at the table, and half of it was gone already. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he admits that he screwed up. He knows that he got a little too drunk, and that's why he wanted us to call you. To see if that's the reason you're not getting back to him. I mean, that's like a big part of it, but he is a total mess. I'm just like not interested in getting involved in all that drama he's got going on right now. What drama? kind of what kind of drama? Oh, so I guess he didn't tell you the whole story. I don't think he knows the whole story. I think yeah. that's the problem. <laughs> he, <wasn't laughs> he got too sure, drunk. He just yeah. he pretty much just told us that he could remember bits and pieces, and then he remembers you getting in an Uber after he peed on a wall and leaving. <laughs> oh yeah, that part was great. <laughs> So I would say 15 or 20 minutes into the date, I'm even embarrassed that I stayed a whole hour, but um, very shortly after I got there, someone called him and he took the call while <laughs> I'm sitting there at the table. He didn't even leave and go outside. He just stayed at the table and talked to the person. And I was like, okay, well, I guess he's just trying to like not be sketchy. Like it's not some girl calling him, except it was. What? He, got, he started arguing with somebody on the phone. He was yelling at them to, like, calm down, and then he hung up and slammed down the phone, and oh, I was, like, already shocked. I thought it was so rude. What Could you tell what they were arguing about? I couldn't get the whole story, so yeah. I was just like, uh, is everything okay? And he was just like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, it's just really stressful right now. I'm getting married in three weeks. What? Oh, huh. my God. Wait, hold up. Getting yeah, that's married? A... 
Yeah. That will that will throw a wrench into things if you're on a date uh, and you're getting married in three weeks. Are you? That can't be right. That... Did he explain himself? He's like, oh, no, it's not what you think. He's all drunk and slurring. And he's like, it's not a real fiancé. And I'm like, is it like a blow-up doll? Like, what? Hey, Did you just get in an argument with a blow-up doll? That's a good question. And he was like, no, it's this. My friend is trying to live in the U.S. and trying to get her a visa. Oh, oh, okay. So he's marrying to try to get someone to be able to stay here. But still, that's a little, little yeah. baggage. That's well, a lot to deal with if you're going if you're uh, going out on a date with someone and they're getting married for any reason. It's yeah. kind of weird. <laughs> Did you believe him? Um, yeah, I think he was too drunk to lie at that point. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. It is weird that they're like fighting with each other. Even if that was the case, there's some emotions involved if you're yelling at yeah. the person and slamming the phone down. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know, like, all the details, and it was kind of hard to understand what he was saying. So <laughs> it was just, like, a lot of emotions. And then he's like, yeah, you know, we live together, but, like, no. don't worry, it's just for financial reasons. And okay. I was like, okay, that's not convenient for dating. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know if I even still believe him. You don't think that he's in a romantic relationship with this person at all? Well, apparently she paid him like ten thousand dollars, so it does sound so financial. You got all the details okay. on it. Wow. Not yeah. bad way to yeah. make ten grand. Too. He has no filter apparently when he's drunk. Give him a couple drinks. I wonder. Yeah. If, I wonder if he remembers even telling you because like he he didn't bring it up to us. He said the only awkward thing he could remember was asking you to go grocery shopping with him. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I said that I love grocery stores. I could spend hours in them, and he was like, "Will you come with me to the store?" <laughs> <laughs> my wife never shops with me. Maybe you will. My wife. My wife. Maya, I want to find, I'm interested to know if he remembers and I want to ask him about it because Craig's on the other line listening right now and wants to talk to you. Hey, Maya. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> you weren't replying to me, so I just kind of thought. Yeah, she knows be... all that, Craig. I think the biggest <laughs> issue is, are you married? I'm not, I mean, the, the, I just want to say, first of all, that the only reason all of that happened was because I'm ner I was nervous and I thought you were really pretty. And that's why we're having this conversation. I, I promise you that if I never drank, we would be having a completely different conversation right now about <laughs> probably about how exclusive we're about to be. Whoa, wow. Craig, I don't care about the drinking. Let's remember you are getting married in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ultimate deal breaker. That's, End of story. The, the, whole, the wife thing that I'm telling you, it's just a good financial move on my oh part. My I, I don't even remember that I had that call. I don't even understand how long that call. How did you even know all of this? <laughs> <laughs> I know it because you drunkenly admitted everything while you were sitting there at the dinner table. Well, I, I say don't worry about it. It's not as big a deal as you think it is. Oh, my God. Dude, you're getting are... married. That means that you and I, if this went somewhere, would not be able to get married. No, but you, you see, Gabriella doesn't really care about that. She doesn't <laughs> care who I see. Okay, Craig, well, guess what? Maya cares. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, I mean, how could you not have known that this was the reason you weren't getting a call back? But it's not a real marriage. It, it doesn't really count. You should just pretend like it's not happening. <laughs> yeah, just pretend like he doesn't have a wife who paid him to marry her. Craig, oh, you know what else is not happening? Uh, me and you. Oh. Come on, Maya. Are you sure about that? Because Craig would love to go on a second date with you. Never been sure about anything in my life. <laughs> what about... I won't drink anything, I promise. It'll be totally different, like I said. The, I don't think the drinking is the issue, no, though, Craig. Not, I don't think yeah. you're getting it. Well, I don't understand. What, it's still about the marriage thing? Yes! <laughs> I don't want to date a married man. <laughs> Maya, I think you're focusing on the wrong things. Like, look at the lengths I'm going to to make another woman happy. Does, doesn't that show you that I'm just, like, the perfect man? <laughs> um, she's paying you. <laughs> I mean, what do I have to do to show you that I'm a good guy? Do you, do you want to call Gabrielle? Do you want to meet her? Maybe we go out together and we meet. Oh, my oh there God. you go. Go out on a date with all of them, Maya. That way you can see that it's an arranged marriage and they don't actually love each other. And then you and Craig can live happily yeah. ever after. Yeah? No? Yeah. This is getting better and better. <laughs> there are lots of different ways that people deal with being nervous before a date. Sometimes maybe they'll just take a few deep breaths and try to calm themselves. Sometimes they'll take a big drink of urine. 
what? sometimes they'll take a, take a big drink of somebody else's urine. Ew, no, it's I really mean. all about <laughs> drinking urine if you want to calm your nerves before no, a big date. But apparently Craig, who's on the phone right now for a second date, didn't drink any urine oh, before his God. date. Oh, thank God. But he I does was... think that his nerves got the best of him, and that's why he's not getting a call back. What's up, Craig? Hey, what's going on? Oh, you sound like a real nervous guy, Craig. Yeah, you sound like a pee drinker to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm being yeah. sarcastic. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't drink any pee this time. I promise. Yeah. Maybe that's maybe that's the issue. Oh, you you just learned something. You got to drink some pee before you go on a date, Noted. and it'll help you out. <laughs> before we get into why you think your date went wrong, tell us about who you want to call today. What's her name? Uh, her name is Maya. Maya. All right. And where did you meet Maya? On a dating site. Okay. Why were you so nervous to meet her in person? I was really nervous because she was really hot. Okay, well, that's simple. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you meet somebody online, that's pretty much all you have to go on, mm-hmm. is like what they say their interests are, and then are they hot or not. So, Yeah, I just want to add that I, I really think she was out of my league, too. Okay. Oh, that I, hot. I kind of guessed that when you said you were super nervous. Usually, if you're also on the same level, you're not going to be that yeah. scared. Right. So, obviously, being surprised, she actually went on the date with me. We ended up going to a restaurant. And, well, I actually ended up going half an hour early. Why so early? Uh, nerve. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I can hear your nerves while you're speaking right now. Uh, You went there early because you didn't want to be late? Yeah, I just wanted to set up kind of shop and kind of (laughs) make the nerves go away. But that didn't really happen. I ended up ordering a bottle of champagne. Oh, gosh. Thinking it would be, like, cute that I'm celebrating our date. Yeah, okay. I like that. Did you drink it all to yourself in that half an hour that you had? My plan was to split the bottle with her, but while I was waiting, I kind of had one glass, and then I had another one, and then by the time she came, I had half the bottle. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's what you meant by your nerves. You were trying to calm them with alcohol. Mm. Yeah, and it did calm them because I was feeling kind of good. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet you were nice and calm after a half bottle of champagne. Yeah, um, so I, w- I obviously asked her if she wanted any champagne, and then she said she doesn't drink champagne. Oh, oh so then you had to finish the whole bottle because you don't want to waste any money. Yeah. I-, I did that, and she ordered her wine, um, and I did drink the rest of it. So wait, did she have one glass and you had one bottle? I think she might have had maybe a second cup, but I don't think she ever finished it. Oh, and it's good when you don't know for sure, when you were sober enough where you can't remember details. <laughs> Did she know that you were drunk? I don't know. I think uh, because I was laughing a lot, I do remember that. But uh, okay. I do remember one weird thing, which was asking her to go grocery shopping with me. What? Like, what? like after your date? Like for you or with you? Not for, like, money or anything. I just wanted her take on the food because it looked like she ate really healthy. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, yeah, I'm picturing you you now. Drunk, just being like, wow, you look like you eat healthy. You think you can go to the grocery store after this and maybe you can pick out stuff of me? (laughs) Make me pretty. (laughs) Make me pretty. Yeah, it seemed like a cluster, you know. (laughs) Just, like, kind of, the date didn't go well. Okay. Okay, so how did it end? It ended where uh, she ordered an Uber, and I was out there with her trying to be the gentleman. Mm-hmm. And uh, the thing is, after having so much alcohol and water and stuff, I ended up having to go to the bathroom. And I, I'm pretty sure, like, they were already kind of closed, and I didn't... I ended up peeing on the side of the building. Okay. Oh, Ooh. classic. All okay. right. Then the Uber comes. There's my date. All right. Yeah. No hug. She just left. Oh, <laughs> okay. Man, you blew it. Yeah, you definitely did blow it with you her. Got too yeah. Drunk. yeah. We've all been there. I don't think any of that would have really happened if I didn't drink uh, half the bottle, so uh, the whole bottle by the end of the night. But I just really wanted to impress her, <laughs> and I just I'm calling you guys because I just want like another date with her, and I just don't want to order the bottle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm yeah, sure a lot of people a lot of people have said that. Have you heard from her at all? Have you had a chance to apologize? I kind of sense like a. Not a weird text where I, I, I kind of said, you know, I had fun and I'm sorry if I got a little tipsy and I just would love uh, to see you again. And then she just never replied to that. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, we'll play a song and then come back and call her and explain that you were hammered and you want a second date. All right. Yeah. Okay. We'll do it right after this. Hang on.